हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर चे एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न विद डॉक्टर चे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट फैमिली एंड चिल्ड्रन दिस इज वीडियो नंबर टू देर आर ओनली टू वीडियोस इन दिस टॉपिक दिस इज इंग्लिश स्पेस इंग्लिश वोकेबलरी इन जनरल फॉर एनी लर्नर एंड पर्टिकुलरली फॉर आयल्स एंड टोफल स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज़ लुक एट डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर अपडेट्स एंड लिंक टू माई फेसबुक ग्रुप लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब to encourage me please uh, share with your uh, other students to help them and like subscribe and press the bell icon to get more videos on all of these courses grammar writing speed uh, listening and writing reading so as we know i have covered more than 27 topics in my course and nowadays we are at topic number 7 and this is video number 2 and is the last video open the playlist of my channel and watch complete course in order the link is given below in the description box so first one is bring up or a bringing these are synonyms bring up or a bringing we you will you can use these words in when talking about family in speaking and when write in in your writing essays also to care for a children to care for a child and teach them good behavior and manners okay to care them care for them to teach them good behavior and manners this is bringing up bringing bring up jenny brought up four children his upbringing shaped his whole life when he was upbringing he was uh, getting uh, uh, growing and uh, his parents are his uh, carers uh, were very caring they teach good manners and his upbringing shaped his whole life when you are talking yourself you can use these words also many women still take uh, still take careers career breaks to bring up their children okay to care their children raise raise is a verb Uh, it means take care of child until he or she is completely grown his parents died and he was raised by her grandparents child development this is a noun it means the biological or psych- psychological development of a child this is child development teenager teenager mothers teenager mothers uh, no without us teenager mothers should be taught the stages of child development undoubtedly fathers have a significant role in child development okay dysfunctional family dysfunctional family is a family that that is not behaving that is not behaving or working normally they are in conflict misbehavior for example when uh, so there is someone addict of al- alcohol in a family uh, then uh, he, they there are conflicts between them and it is a dysfunctional family and uh, there are for example there is a there are d- domestic abuse they, this is also dysfunctional family maria came from a dysfunctional family and could often be seen wandering the street on her own when she was young when she was young the child comes from a very dysfunctional family the father was violent and is now in prison and the mother has a drug drug has a drugs problem their their family was dysfunctional because father was in prison and mother is in drug addict so this is dysfunctional family formative years very good word very good word when you are describing yourself your childhood or when you are talking about your family the period when a person has lasting influence on a child when person has a lasting influence on a child formative years i spend i spend my um, formative years with my parents in new delhi i spent it will be t i spent i spent in the past i spent my favorite my formative years with my parents in the past i spent okay 
distant relatives as you know distant distant learning online learning okay uh, same as the distant relative someone who is not close relative it does not mean the distance a uh, physical distance it mean uh, that is not your uh, close blood relation like mother and father not mother and father a third cousin for example great aunt or uncle he is a distant relative relative of my friend john run in the family is idiom and very good idiom i don't teach uh, idioms but there are some common idioms and they are very easy so run in the family is when a quality or disease that is passed from parents to children generation after generation intelligence doesn't necessarily run in a family for example if i am very you know i am not intelligent maybe my son will be intelligent because intelligence does not run in the family a tendency towards obesity obesity a tendency towards obesity often runs in a family okay generation after generation often not always to be flesh and blood this is an idiom i don't teach idiom but there are some common idioms that you need to learn someone who has a biological relationship with you with your uh, it is your family although mariana is not my flesh and blood although she is not my blood relative she is not my flesh and blood she is like a sister to me she is my best friend he raised the orphan children like they were his they were his own flesh and blood like two peas in a pod this is an idiom it means to have similar taste and appearance john and john and smith are like two peas in a pod although they are not twins this is very important like two peas in a pod you need you see the peas the pod there are two peas in a pod that mean they are they are at same place they have similar taste you can use in your speaking especially in your speaking she is not my blood and flesh but she is very important we we have same tastes we are like two peas in a pod my describing best friend for example blood is thicker than water this is an idiom mean someone give who gives uh, someone who gives his family more importance than his friends families might have problems but when someone suffers from a critical disease they always help each other it is true that blood is thicker than water well educated child is confident no when you are comparing blood is thicker than water you can hear that say that child uh, but friends are not always say, with them but family is always with them through thick and thin so blood is thicker than water you can speak use in speaking don't use it in writing and there are some good vocabulary words well educated children is confident is broad minded creative and cultivated you can use in your speaking and your writing also and there is poorly educated child is inhibited narrow minded or even boorish this i have also taught you i already taught you impoverished family is equal to disadvantaged family you can use synonyms offspring is very is a noun a very good word it means a person's a child a, a child a baby and its plural form is offspring not with s plural form is the same not with s the problem dad parents face with their teen age offspring are often avoidable where their teen age children teen age offspring are often unavoidable it is a bit high level c1 or c2 level lang language have same tastes or have something in common to be similar in interest or characteristics my younger brother and i have little have totally different tastes he loves social media but i like print media okay in fact we don't have much in common we have different tastes child abuse is a noun i have already taught you in the topic of crime 
इट मीन्स अ क्राइम ऑफ फिजिकल सेक्शुअल और इमोशनल इल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चाइल्ड ही वॉज चार्ज विद चाइल्ड अब यूज रिजल्टिंग इन द डेथ मैनी केसेज ऑफ चाइल्ड अब यूज ऑफन गो अनरिपोर्टेड चाइल्ड अब यूज एंड टीन एज टीन प्रेगनेंसी आर हैव रिड्यूसड सिग्निफिकेंटली नो अड इज क्लोज नेट इज एन एजेक्टिव वेरी गुड वर्ड टू डिस्क्राइब अ फैमिली टू टॉक अबाउट फैमिली क्लोज नेट क्लोकेशन आर अ क्लोज नेट फैमिली अ क्लोज नेट कम्यूनिटी इट मीन हैविंग स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप विद ईच अदर क्लोज नेट नॉट प्रोनाउंस के आई लिव इन अ क्लोज नेट कम्यूनिटी वेयर पीपल हेल्प ईच अदर थ्रू क्राइसिस शी इज़ अ क्वाइट एंड शाई गर्ल फ्राम अ क्लोज नेट फैमिली इन लंडन नेक्स्ट कुक नेक्स्ट टू किन इज अ नाउन अ पर्सन हु इज यूर वेरी क्लोज रिलेटिव फॉर ऑफिशियल एंड रीगल लीगल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज द फॉर्म मस्ट बी फिल्ड बाय नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन हॉस्पिटल्स वेन देर इज सम सीरियस इशू और सो वी यूज अ फॉर्म डैट शुड बी फिल्ड अ पर्सन डेट इज नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन नेक्स्ट टू किन नो नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन द पुलिस हैव नोटिफाइड जॉन्स नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन फॉर इज एक्सीडेंट सो देर आर सम गुड वोकेबलरी क्लोज बॉन्ड और कनेक्शन मीन वैन देर इज स्ट्रॉग रिलेशनशिप क्लोज बॉन्ड इज़ वेरी गुड वर्ड क्लोज बॉन्ड बिटवीन टू पीपल क्लोज बॉन्ड बिटवीन मदर एंड चाइल्ड क्लोज बॉन्ड बिटवीन फैमिली मेम्बर्स जॉन हैज़ अ क्लोज बॉन्ड विद इज ग्रैंड फादर एज ही इज ऑलवेज ही ऑलवेज प्लेज विद हिम वैन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूर सेल्फ यूर पेरेंट्स ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स यू कैन यूज दिस वर्ड अफ्लूएंट फैमिली इज इक्वल टू वेल्दी फैमिली वेल ऑफ फैमिली फाइनेंशली कम्फर्टेबल फैमिली सो एट द एंड प्लीज डू इफ यू हैव नाट डांस टिल नाउ प्लीज प्रेस दिस बटन यू आर यू विल इट विल नाट कॉस्ट यू एनी थिंग प्लीज एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन ऑल्सो लाइक एंड कमेंट टू एनकरेज मी शेयर विद अदर स्टूडेंट्स टू हेल्प दैम थैंक यू वेरी मच